Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I'm very excited about today's video because it's going to be the first one of our princess series. So this was an idea brought up by one of my close friends. She had suggested that I did this so I did a poll on Instagram and most of you guys were super interested in having this type of series. As I said before, it's something that's going to be a long term series so it's not going to be one princess right after the other. It'll be mixed in with other videos throughout the month. So for this week, we are going to start off with Sleeping Beauty. So I was getting super excited because I was going to watch each Disney movie before I did the princess look, but I haven't watched Sleeping Beauty yet. So I'm just going to go off of the picture that I will post right here and I will explain to you why I'm going to do the look I'm going to do. So I hope you guys don't mind that my mirror is here. I found in last week's video I was looking down and you guys couldn't really see as much as I would like you guys to see. So I'm just going to keep the mirror off to the side. So I've already prepped my skin, I'm just going to go in and start with the brows right away. So I am obsessed with my pomade again, so I'm going to be using once again. It is in the shade Ash Brown and I go in with my Jeffree Star Angle Brush. The next thing I'm going to do is just prime my eyelids. So I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Eye Primer today. So now that that is all applied, I'm going to go in with the base shade from the Norvina palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm just going to apply that all over the lid to set the primer. So now I'm going to go in with my Jeffree Star Conspiracy Palette with Shane Dawson and go into the shade Pigment. And I'm going to use the Morphe E18 brush. So I'm just going to take that shade and apply it all in my crease. So I'm going to apply some of that same color on the outer part of my lid and kind of bring it into a V. So next I'm going to go in with the ColourPop She's a Rainbow palette and go in with this light pink color. I'm going to take that on the JS6 brush that looks like this. And I'm just going to put it on top of the other shade and blend it out. So now I want to deepen up the outer part of the lid and that V, so I'm going to go in with this hot pink color and just focus it on that area. Now I'm not going to put that palette too far away, but I picture Sleeping Beauty kind of having a demi cut crease. I'm going to go in with my CoverGirl concealer to do the demi cut crease in the shade Fair, so it's the lightest concealer that I have here with me, and it'll be a closest to a white base. So now I'll show you just with the one demi cut crease because I don't want it to dry out quickly. I'm going to go in with that same base color from before and apply it all over where we just cut. And instead of doing sweeping motions, I'm packing it on. So now that the concealer is set, I'm going to go do my other eye and then I'll come back to show you how I'm going to finish up the rest of the look because it looks a bit messy right now. So now that we have our two cut creases done, I'm going to go back in with a mix of this shade and the beige shade and just put it here to help blend the two colors together so it doesn't look the way it looks right now, which is terrible. So I'm just lightly going to tap into the pink shade and to the base shade and just lightly apply it with a crease brush just to help blend in the two colors. 
So now that we have this base going on, I'm just going to blend out all the edges to make sure that they're seamless. So now this is what we have. I'm going to go in with the Sila Glitter Glow Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade Diamond Dust. I'm going to go in with the JS14 Precision Brush, so it's just got this small point, you can use it for eyeliner. And I'm just going to apply the glitters all on the line of the cut crease. I love working with these glitters so much. I always have to have something sparkly, I can never just do a full matte eyeshadow. So now these are what the glitters look like. I love them in person, they look so pretty. So now I'm just going to take the shade Love from the Norvina palette and I'm just going to apply that on the middle part going into the front part of my eyelid. The only reason why I did that was because I didn't like the way the beige was looking with it, so I just wanted to add a little bit more pink. So now I'm going to put on my Fenty Beauty mascara, curl my lashes, and pop on some false lashes, and I will be back. So for primer today, I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer, as per usual. I love this one very much. So now, after putting the primer, I'm going to go in and put my MAC uh, stroke cream in the gold color just because I'm going to be using my Maybelline foundation after and it's a matte finish and I'd rather have a more glowy finish. So I'm just going to apply that all over my face with a foundation brush. So now that that has been applied all over I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Superstay foundation. This is still one of my favorite foundations. However I did try a foundation in a trial size from Lancome and I really enjoyed it. At first, I was like hating it because as soon as I put it on my skin, it oxidized really quickly. And I thought I was gonna look like an orange Oompa Loompa. But then I just continued blending away and with the concealer and everything, it came through and my skin has never looked any better. For those who follow me on my Instagram, my latest post with like the purple top and the very glowy skin, I was wearing that foundation and it looked really good. Now I'm going to go in with my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I'm almost out of this one and I'm so sad because it has been my favorite concealer. But now I'm questioning maybe I should try the Tarte Shape Tape. I know that everyone goes crazy over it. I still have never tried it. So if you guys think I should try it, let me know in the comments down below. So now, just to set that, I'm going to go in with my Becca Hydra Mist Setting Powder. So and now I can go back into my eyeshadow palette and I'm just going to dip between both colors and I'm just going to apply that underneath the waterline. So now I am going to go in with my Butter Bronzer. I'm not going to do any heavy contouring or anything because I don't see Sleeping Beauty doing that. But I do want to give my face a bit of warmth. So now that we are all nice and bronzed up, I'm going to go in with the ColourPop Coast to Coast color. I've really been enjoying this blush. I think it's such a nice shade just to bring a pop of color, but I'm not going crazy with the blush because I did get a sunburn, so I'm trying to like even out what parts of me stay white and what parts of me stay red. So for the lips, I'm going to go in with the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade Another Round, and I'm just going to line all around my lips. Now I'm going to go in with the Dose of Colors Liquid Lipstick in the shade Stone. It's this really nice dusty pink. I really like these lipsticks. I find they're super buttery and they're super comfortable to wear. And 
now while I let that dry, I'm going to go in with my Hello Halo highlighter and I'm just going to go in with the gold shade and apply it all in my usual places. And now that the liquid lipstick has dried, I'm going to go in with the ColourPop check-in shade and just apply a gloss to the rest of my lips. So this is the final look that I have created for Sleeping Beauty. I think it came out really, really good. I, it's, it's not normal for me to wear pinks like this, but I think for her case it would look good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this first video to the series. Don't forget to like, comment down below, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Please enjoy the rest of your Sunday, stay healthy, stay safe, and I'll see you next week. Bye!